Okay, here we have a spreadsheet uh, which contains a list of numbers that I'm going to call n, uh, 1 through 5. And I want to perform some mathematical operations, but I don't want to have to do it all by hand. For example, if I wanted to get twice the number n, I could just say, well, 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, and four time, or 2 times 3 is 6, and so on, 8 and 10. But that's a really long-handed way of doing that. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want the, the spreadsheet to work for me. So instead what I can do is I'll hit equals, and equals means, hey, spreadsheet cell, do the math that I'm about to say. And then instead of just typing a 1, which is the number that I want to double, I'm going to say, just go look in this cell. I'll click on it, and it puts in the cell address A2. And I'll say, look in that cell and multiply it by 2. Notice the multiplication so sign is the asterisk, which you get by typing shift 8. Uh, anyway, when I hit enter here, now it gives me 2. Now you'll see here in the cell it reports 2, but up here in the actual cell you'll find it's really looking at A2, which it's highlighted here, and it's multiplying it by 2. Now that's a neat thing, but the power of that is that I can click here on this little blue box and drag it down, and it will, uh, it will repeat the pattern for every cell beneath it. So where this cell says A2 times 2, the cell beneath it says A3 times 2, and beneath that A4 times 2. It says, well, do that same pattern, but shift the, the, the address that you're looking at down 1 so that I get a column of things that are doubled. The really cool thing about that is if I decide, well, I don't want that to be 3, I want it to be 19, then um, automatically this cell updates to be double of 19 without me having to do anything. I'll put it back at 3 here. Uh, the same thing works for uh, other operations. If I want to do n squared, I say equals, hey cell, do some math, look at a2, and whatever's in a2, raise it to the power of 2. Okay, and 1 squared is 1. I'll take that box and I'll drag it down, and there's the rest of them. 2 squared is 4, and 4 squared is 16, and so on. I can do the same thing with division. Hey cell, do some math with my equals sign. Let's find out what I want to do the math with. Yep, A2, divide it by 5, and when I hit enter, there it is, uh, 0.2, and I can drag it down and find all the rest of them. Now, let's say I wanted to take the sum of the four boxes to the left, which is a weird thing to do. It doesn't mean anything mathematically, but we can do it. I can say equals, just type the word sum and open parentheses, and then I can just click and drag and say, I want the sum of A2 until D2. I'll close parentheses, and when I hit enter, there it is. And of course, I can click and drag and get that. If I wanted to calculate the average of those four boxes, again, not mathematically meaningful, but still useful, equals, type in the word average, open parentheses, click and drag, and I've got the four cells that I want. I close parentheses, and there it is. So I can do sum, average, I can do multiplication, I can do squares and square roots, I can do... Uh, uh, division. I can do any number of, of mathematical operations. If you want to know another one here, you can look it up on Google. Uh, and the cool thing is, again, that let's say I want these to be uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 instead of 1 through 5. You see that all of these cells have automatically updated to give me exactly what I want. So that's a really powerful tool that you can use in a spreadsheet uh, that can really help you out uh, for any number of things.